Hey there, Morgan here from Crafting a Lovely Life, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute fall sweatshirt using your Cricut and iron-on vinyl. I absolutely love fall and am so excited about how this sweatshirt turned out. It was also super easy to make. This Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins Please design that I'm using today is available for free on my website, and I will link that below so you can download it. All right, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is measure our shirt to see how big our design should be. If you need help with this, I have a handy sizing guide that I will link below. For the shirt I'm using today, 10 and a half inches is perfect, so I will go with that size for my design. Now we can open a new project in Cricut Design Space and upload our design. Next, we will resize it to fit on our sweatshirt. We also need to attach parts of the design before we cut, so go ahead and select the entire image and click ungroup. Now we can select each layer and click attach. Then click make it. You should have two mats, one for the main part of the design and another for the pumpkins and leaves. Since we are using iron on vinyl, we will also need to turn on the mirror option for each mat. Then click continue and select your material type. For the words, I'm using a non Cricut heat transfer vinyl, so I will browse materials and search for heat transfer and then select heat transfer non Cricut. Now we can place the heat transfer vinyl with the shiny side down on a standard grip mat. I like to use the brayer tool to make sure the material is really stuck to the mat well. Then we can load the mat and start cutting. Once the machine is done cutting, we can unload the mat and remove the vinyl. For the pumpkins and leaves, I'm using a glitter iron-on material, so I will change the material type for that mat to glitter iron-on. Again, we will place the glitter vinyl shiny side down on the mat, load it, and start cutting. Then unload the mat and remove the glitter vinyl. To weed the vinyl, I'm using a weeding tool to pull up the corner and then remove the bulk of the excess vinyl. Next, you will use the weeding tool to remove the smaller parts of the design that you don't want on the shirt. Once you weed the pumpkins and leaves, you will want to cut those apart since they will be placed in separate areas on the sweatshirt. Now we're going to set the temperature and time for our heat press. Cricut's heat guide recommends setting the temperature to 330 degrees and the time to 30 seconds for this type of shirt and vinyl. To get the design centered on the sweatshirt, we are going to fold it in half and then apply heat. This will create a visible crease in the center of the shirt so that we can place our design. Don't worry about the discoloration on the sweatshirt in the video on the half that was heated. This happens when the sweatshirt is heated, but it goes away once the shirt cools. Now we can fold the white part of the design in half and gently crease the top and the bottom of the plastic backing sheet. Then match those creases up with the center line that we ironed onto the sweatshirt. I usually place the design about two to three inches down from the neckline, but you can adjust this to your preference. To place the leaves and pumpkins on the sweatshirt, you will need to cut the plastic backing sheet down a bit so you can place them close to the letters without the plastic sheet covering any of the vinyl. You want to make sure that every part of the vinyl is in direct contact with the sweatshirt or it won't adhere correctly. Then place the Teflon sheet on top of the sweatshirt and start heating. I like to use firm and even pressure on the heat press to make sure that everything adheres well. Once you have heated the front of the sweatshirt, we're going to flip it over and heat the back for 15 seconds. The white iron on vinyl I'm using is a warm peel, so I'm going to peel the plastic backing sheet off while it is still warm. 
The glitter iron-on is a cool peel, so I will wait until it cools to the touch before I peel up the plastic backing sheet for it. The type of iron-on vinyl you are using should specify if it is a warm peel or cool peel vinyl. If any part of the design lifts up when you peel back the plastic sheet, just place the plastic backing sheet for the entire design back down and heat it for a bit longer until it sticks. Make sure you don't ever apply heat directly to the vinyl without the plastic backing sheet over it. I absolutely love this sweatshirt and cannot wait for the weather to start getting cooler so I can wear it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get a chance to make your own fall sweatshirt this season. Be sure to subscribe below so you can follow along each week as I share a new crafty project. Don't forget to grab this free design on my website listed below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!